Welcome to this video. Boiler is used to generate steam. On board ships, steam is used for heating of fuel oil and for driving steam turbines which are used to drive the machinery such as winches, cargo pumps, alternators, and as well propellers in case of steam ships. For producing steam, the fuel oil is burnt inside the furnace. For efficient burning of fuel oil, the various systems such as the heavy fuel oil service system for main burner, the diesel oil service system for main burner, the diesel oil system for pilot burner, the combustion air system, the atomizing steam system, the ignition system, and a burner management system are provided. In this video, we are going to describe about the various components fitted in heavy fuel oil and diesel oil service systems for main burner, and as well as for the pilot burner. Let us first see the various components fitted in the heavy fuel oil service system for main burner, starting from the tank in sequence. Low sulfur heavy fuel oil service tank. Ultra low sulfur heavy fuel oil service tank. Heavy fuel oil settling tank. The main burner can be supplied with either heavy fuel oil or diesel oil. Heavy fuel oil can be drawn from any one of the heavy fuel oil tanks. When the vessel is inside emission control areas, ultra low sulfur heavy fuel oil is consumed. Otherwise, low sulfur heavy fuel oil is consumed. If the burner is capable of burning fuel oil from settling tank, it is preferred to consume from fuel oil settling tank to keep the sludge generation to a low level. Quick closing valves, which can be closed from outside the machinery space in case of fire inside the engine room. Inlet valve to the flow meter. Flow meter. This is used for the calculation of heavy fuel oil consumption for the boiler. Outlet valve of the flow meter. Bypass valve for the flow meter. Isolation valve for duplex strainers. Duplex strainers. The strainer filters the coarse particles in the fuel oil to protect the pump. Suction valve for heavy fuel oil service pump. Heavy fuel oil service pumps. These pumps take suction from the tank which is lined up for consumption and build up a pressure of up to 8 bar. The pumps, two in numbers, is gear type and driven by electric motor. One of these pumps is required to be run for the boiler operation. Discharge valve for heavy fuel oil service pump. This valve helps in isolating the pump. This valve is of non-return type, which enables the valves of the standby pump to be kept in open position for automatic start in case of a pressure drop in the system. A regulating valve fitted at the steam inlet line regulates the quantity of steam to maintain the fuel oil temperature at a constant value. Inlet valve for heavy fuel oil heaters. Heavy fuel oil heaters. Two heaters are provided, out of which one heater alone is capable of bringing the viscosity of fuel oil entering the burner to a value as recommended by the maker. The heaters are steam heaters. Outlet valve for heavy fuel oil heaters. Bypass valve for heavy fuel oil heaters. Pressure control valve. This valve maintains a constant pressure in the discharge side of the heavy fuel oil service pump. Solenoid valve for recirculation. These valves are interlocked with the solenoid valves for main burner. The recirculation valve remains closed when the main burner is functioning. The pipeline through this valve is connected to the suction side of the heavy fuel oil service pumps. Heavy fuel oil, diesel oil changeover valve. The position of this valve is selected depending on whether the heavy fuel oil is consumed or the diesel oil is consumed. Fuel oil regulating valve. The burner management system regulates the quantity of oil passing to the main burner depending upon the demand of steam generation rate. The regulating valve is a diaphragm-operated valve. The control air 
for this purpose is taken through a filter and a current to pressure converter unit. The pressure gauge indicates the output pressure of the pressure converter unit. Two numbers of solenoid valves for main burner. As per the regulatory requirement, two numbers of valves are to be provided to shut down the boiler, either due to a safety trip or due to a manual stop. Main burner. The fuel oil, which is passed to the main burner, is atomized, sprayed in a conical formation inside the furnace in such a way that will enable thorough mixing of fuel with combustion air and complete burning of fuel oil. Now, let us see the various components fitted in diesel oil service system for main burner. This system is used either when the steam is not available for heating of heavy fuel oil, or when the vessel is in an area where the regulatory requirement does not permit the usage of heavy fuel oil. Diesel oil service tank. Quick closing valve. Isolation valve for duplex strainers duplex strainers, suction valve for diesel oil service pump, diesel oil service pumps, discharge valve for diesel oil service pump, pressure control valve. The pressure control valve maintains constant pressure at the discharge side of the diesel oil service pump by allowing the excess oil to pass back to the suction side of the pump through this pipeline. After the changeover valve, the diesel oil passes through the same components, already described for the heavy fuel oil system, to the main burner. Now let us see the various components fitted in the pilot burner system. The pilot burner comes into function in two occasions for a few seconds. In the first occasion, the pilot burner comes on during the starting cycle of the boiler to ignite the fuel sprayed from the main burner. Once the fuel sprayed, from main burner catches fire, the pilot burner goes off. In the second occasion, the pilot burner comes on whenever the main the burner cuts off to burn the residual fuel left in the main burner during a burner post purging process. The pilot burner is fitted by the side of the main burner, a little behind the main burner, so that the flame from the main burner does not damage the pilot burner. The pilot burner is supplied with diesel oil. The diesel oil sprayed from pilot burner is ignited by an igniter electrode, which is supplied with a high voltage from a transformer. Isolation valve for duplex strainers. Duplex strainers. Suction valve for pilot burner diesel oil pump. Pilot burner diesel oil pump. Discharge valve, pilot burner diesel oil pump. Solenoid valve. Pilot burner. Now let us see the various instruments fitted in the system for indication and control purposes. A compound gauge at the suction side of the heavy fuel oil service pumps. A pressure gauge at the discharge side of the heavy fuel oil service pumps. A pressure switch at the discharge side of the heavy fuel oil service pumps to automatically start the standby pump in case of low pressure. A temperature gauge at the fuel oil inlet to each heater. A temperature gauge at the fuel oil outlet of each heater. A temperature transmitter for the fuel oil temperature indication inside engine control room. A temperature switch for activating fuel oil extra low temperature trip.
a pressure switch for activating fuel oil low pressure alarm, a pressure switch for activating fuel oil extra low pressure trip, a pressure transmitter for the fuel oil pressure remote indication, a pressure gauge at the fuel oil inlet to main burner, a compound gauge at the suction side of the diesel oil service pumps, a pressure gauge at the discharge side of the diesel oil service pumps, a pressure switch at the discharge side of the diesel oil service pumps to automatically start the standby pump in case of low pressure. A compound gauge at the suction side of the pilot burner diesel oil pump. A pressure gauge at the discharge side of the pilot burner diesel oil pump. A pressure switch at the discharge side of the pilot burner diesel oil pump for activation low pressure alarm. I hope this video helped you in understanding the various components and instruments involved in the fuel oil service system of boiler. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.